Yeah. <laughs> and Danielle Jones says, I was listening to Will. I, I, Will I am. Oh, will I? Okay. I was mm. like, why is... Okay. Because I'm like, what? Okay. She left out the periods. Uh-huh. Yeah, the hyphens. Like, I was listening to Will I Am talk about everyone having a, a personal AI, and it made me nervous. Mm. Okay. Uh, Cornell Stewart says AI. And I asked him, scared or happy? And he said both. I think it would be awesome, but I think we are lazy, and we will <laughs> right. want decision-making in AIs, and will uh, combine decision making with system control and we can become a target of AI. Sounds like slope? Terminator, but I think it is possible on a certain scale. Slippery slope. <laughs> That's what I've been saying. Okay. Uh, and Uncle Power says, me too. Specifically, I am afraid of the first AI that can design and build a better AI. At that point, it won't be long before computer intelligence far out outstrips human intelligence at which point we become the new cows <laughs> mm-hmm. they won't eat us but we will be completely at their mercy and they'll either kill us destroy our habitat or ignore us until we get in the way of whichever plans they design to uh for themselves right yeah see i don't agree with this this to me is how uh, like the um the epitome of what humans do it's it's kind of egotistical and we anthropomorphize everything, and I think it's the same thing that they, the same thing they, when I say they, I mean human beings, uh, have done to God. They they view everything through a human lens, mm-hmm. you know. And so when they talk about God, or whatever, oh, he's jealous and this and he's that and all these human flaws, or whatever they assign to right. him. Computers don't want to take over the world. People want to take over the yes. world. Yes. Exactly, Pip. That was my point. Yeah, I agree. Saying. I agree. That's what people want, not what computers want. Yeah, they don't have any concept of power. They have no, they, they have no use for that. No use for that. Okay. Uh, let's see here. John Buchanan of the Brand X podcast. Shout out, John. He, uh, John and I, we have, we are really simpatico on a lot of political things. We, uh, we are kind of, we both kind of in the middle of the road. The conservatives think we're liberal. The liberals think we're conservative, but we're in the middle, which means we're we the ones that got it right. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so shout out to John. Uh, oh. John says, um, oh, and also let me give John's website a shout out. Oh, uh, it's a Facebook page, actually. I will have to get back to you on the name of it. Uh, it's called, he just started it. Let me see if I can, mm, I'll have to, I have to. I have to bring it up next show. I'm sorry because I don't I don't know the name of it. Sorry about that, John. It's uh, but it's a really cool website and it's for other other podcasters. So this is only for other podcasters. And on it's a site where or a page where oh dang, where we discuss um, you know a lot of the behind the scenes stuff that you know go on that goes on with uh with podcasts if you need help and things like that. So and J- John is very very technically savvy and his, you know, if you listen to his show, you hear the quality of the production and whatnot. So, um, yeah, it's, it can be a very valuable resource for any would be podcasters or current podcasters listening. This is John yeah, Buchanan of, of the Brand X, X podcast podcast. Yes. Yeah. Yes. And uh, as well as, uh, they have a cool show as well. Okay. Um, now let's see, where were we? We were reading, uh, what John, John. Said, right? Yeah. Exactly. Okay. John said, I want my consciousness uploaded into a robot so I can live forever. I'm hoping that that will be here soon. I'm scared it will come after I die. And I replied, <laughs> if it does, John, I will bring you back. Oh, Lord. So, <laughs> uh, JJ, my little cousin, JJ, Jonathan Jennings said, I have a love-hate relationship with the idea of neural implants that put you in a simulated environment. Being able to experience something like the Matrix could be incredible, but then I think of that Black Mirror, everybody with the Black Mirror <laughs> well. episode, and man, there is no uh, there is no bug like the bugs you can encounter when your entire brain and well being is involved. That's I, true. I may try one of if I may try one if they exist in my lifetime, but it would be long after the initial testing. <laughs> <laughs> Ron Lyle says AI, machine learning, robotics, and a high definition canvas 
with uh, with tracking technology in the right moral and ethical hands, they can be great. In the wrong hands, they can be devastating. The issue is whoever has control of this technology has ultimate power. Mm. I believe the Antichrist system will leverage this technology and people will have to make a choice, comply with the agenda of the day or be locked out of the very ability to, to survive. Either you're in or you're out. If we look at Bitcoin and black or in blockchain and those technologies become the default currencies, people in charge will have more power, uh, more control and leverage over the masses. Interesting times ahead. Mm. Okay. True. I guess something to be worried about. <laughs> uh, and Sean says the, the up- upcoming Google assistant, the upcoming Google assistant, right? Both excited and uh, afraid. Hmm. Bobby Holiday says, afraid of di- di- uh, driverless cars, mm-hmm. especially here in Boston. That makes sense. The streets are old cow paths, not to mention people make up their own rules as they go along. <laughs> no shit. It's like vehicular jousting. <laughs> Damn. You're right. I'm Deuce, in Boston. Deuce Little John, my nephew, shout out to Ju- uh, Deuce, uh, implanted RFID chips. Uh, don't like them. I think that's the same thing that Jonathan was mm-hmm, talking about. Mm-hmm. Uh, Cornell Stewart, flying cars. We've got multiple. Uh, Kat McCormick says, I want those dinners you make by pressing a button that Dino mentioned. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be hot. Right? And Jazz Samuel Jr. says, driverless cars. Okay, again with the cars. Uh, scare the shit out of me. Instead of, of uh, we need more infrastructure improvements like high-speed rail and better mass transit. Driverless cars should have their own lane like HOV lanes on the highway so those privileged pricks can kill each other versus the peasant people walking or on bikes. Uh, All right. So that's that. So let's go bring it here to the studio and start with you, Pip Lily. Mm-hmm. What, what technology has you excited? Because we already determined that you're not afraid of anything that's coming out. So what, what are you excited about most uh, emerging technology? I, I like the idea of medical nanotechnology. Uh, I'm, I'm really excited about medical tech, nanotechnology because I think this might be our cure for cancer. Once you start looking at cancer on a, like a subatomic level mm-hmm. and the, 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 there's a molecular tiniest level that you could possibly can. And then at this point, we already know that we can recreate and, or create things from stem cells and things like that. Right. So they could take those cancerous cells and either rebuild new cells in their place <laughs> to, to, and take out the cancerous cells and, and replace them or literally sort of spot weld them or fix them right there in the body and right. what, on this na- this nanotechnology that's i think that's what i think that's what they're going with that i'm i i love this idea like you won't have to get a liver transplant that just make you a new liver in your body right right okay hey i like that what about you Dijon? um i would have to say uh my answer would be well i would i was gonna say something like an uh, the rfid chip or mm-hmm. something that some type of implant that has me like very very worried um, it would also have to be, if not that, um, then I would have to say, dang. Sex robot. <laughs> <laughs> Sex robot, no. I like, the one thing that has me excited is the heart sleeve that keeps your heart pumping forever. Have you guys heard about that? No. Yeah, it's the sleeve that they can put over your heart. I don't know if they... Forever, that's a mighty long time. Yeah, I know. It's a heart sleeve that they can put over your heart, but it just keeps your heart beating forever. I don't know. If something else fucks up, you're fucked. But, uh, <laughs> with your heart beating. With your heart is beating, though. Wow, that's pretty dope. I yeah. remember that. Yeah. Cool. Okay, so me, I will have to say, I will pick an answer that probably won, the one we heard the most, but the flip side, the driver's list cars, mm-hmm. the people who are afraid of, I'm not afraid of, I'm excited for them. I think that'd be cool. Especially I'm, for you, because you don't drive. Right. Exactly. Now that. you can have your own autonomy. Yes. Yes. So I'm really excited about that. That looks like that it might be here. In my lifetime, and you know, uh, and possibly even be affordable in my lifetime. So yeah, I'm pretty excited about that. And if not that, some version of that that you know will make my life you know easier. Mm-hmm. You gonna come home from work, pick your wife up, go out, and <laughs> make out on Lovers Lane. Mm-hmm. <laughs> make out on your way to Lovers Lane. <laughs> okay, so for the question of the week for next week, which is what seven twenty nine. That is correct, mm-hmm. sir. Um, and that will be our one year anniversary guy. Oh. Wow. One year anniversary. That's the paper anniversary. Back the one on paper. One whole year. She's wow. like 2.0. Oh. All 53 right. 53 weeks. So, uh yeah, the uh question is which actress 
do you think would make a good Black Buffy the Vampire Slayer? Oh, I like oh. this. I like this. So, guys, remember this, though. Casting. Buffy is supposed to be a teenager. The teenager, right. So, that's the only thing I want you to keep in mind. Viola Davis is out. So, so yeah, right. Angela, Angela Bassett. And, 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 <laughs> I was to go for Angela Bassett is out. <laughs> y'all funny. She could direct, but she can't be Buffy. <laughs> right. Y'all funny. So, let's hear y'all choices for Black Buffy the Vampire Slayer. Ooh, Slayer's some upcoming book. ones. This will be good. All right. I thought that would be a fun one. That is fun. Yeah. yeah. All right. So let's get into these. Uh, I was about to holler some names. I had to stop myself. <laughs> <laughs> Next week. Let's get into our mail. John, could you read the question? I mean, not the question, but our uh, feedback. Sure, absolutely I can. Uncle Power says, clean meat sounds gross. And with plant-based alternatives improving all the time, I see no need for the ecological, economic, or ethical cost associated with exploiting animals or their stem cells for our food. Okay, hang on a second real quick. Uh, I just want to point out real quick. Now, I'm not, I'm not calling them a hypocrite or anything. <laughs> Oh, 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 but, oh, but, oh. Uh, I'm, I'm in a hamburger group. Uh oh. And Chief Burgermeister is Uncle Meister Burger Burgermeister Meister Burger Burgermeister is uh, Uncle Powers. Uh oh. Uncle Powers is the, but I have to admit though he he makes a great point. I think the I think the fact that we haven't had a meeting in like a year and sometimes in the last five years we've probably had one meeting a year, average <laughs> at best. Uh, we need a. A, a new uh, burgermeister, mm. and then given the, these blasphemous mm. uh, views, on burgers, <laughs> I think it's now the time for him to, to, to relinquish his throne of burgermeister and pass it down to someone who's obviously more enthusiastic about burgers <laughs> and burger meetings than our current uh, commander in chief. Wow! Okay. I just wanted to say that real quick. Well, okay. but uh, uh, continue, please. <laughs> uh, well, just to bring that back around. Uh, Uncle Power says, try the Impossible Burger and holla back. Okay. Yeah, the Impossible <laughs> Burger is a, is a fake burger. Just Not so me. you know, it's, it's made out of plant vegetables. Based. Yeah. Well, it, well, why is it fake? It's plants. Oh. It's not meat. <laughs> I see. <laughs> I'm like, is it plastic? <laughs> it's manufactured here in Los Angeles, by the way. <laughs> My bad. It's manufactured here in Los Angeles. Oh, of course it is. Mm-hmm. <laughs> of course it is. <laughs> and little in life gives me more pleasure than disagreeing with Dino. Oh, yeah. But when it comes to racist on Grinder, he's absolutely right. <gasps> Mm, the one instance where racism is okay in my book is when it comes to sexual ira- with sexual and romantic preference. Personally, I can vibe with any color in the rainbow, but I don't do skinny chicks. And if I was a pre-date in, if I was pre-dating online, I would have no problem letting the skinny chicks know they need not apply. I would see it as doing us both a favor by not wasting each other's time. <laughs> I feel pit pain that racism causes a special kind of hurt and everything should be done to minimize it, minimize its effects. But if someone is truly not attracted to another race, I don't think they need to write. Wait, I don't think they need to waste time wading through a bunch of unqualified candidates just because they're afraid of hurting someone's racial pride by truthfully stating their preference up front. Mm. Peace. All right. Thank you, Uncle Powers, that for that. Uh, we appreciate your feedback as always and your support, my brother. It's been a minute, man. Uh, you and Auntie, we need to all hook up. It's been Maybe a have some burgers. Right? Yeah, and go have some burgers before you uh, decide to uh, become a vegetarian. Uh, can I say this? Speaking of burgers, Shake Shack. You ever been to Shake Shack? I have. Have you ever tried their chicken sandwich? I have not. Their fried chicken sandwich. I've only been bomb. to Shake Shack once, and it was when I was in New York. That chicken sandwich is bomb, man. That's the best fried chicken sandwich. That's, really? That's better is it the, is it the, than Chick-fil-A. The, it's, oh, so it's fried. It's not grilled. It's fried. Oh. Okay. It's, that's, it's bomb. Mm. Okay. I'm not mad at that. I'll have to try it. Thanks for the tip. Mm-hmm. Thanks right. for the tip. Shout tip. out Shake Shack. Well, you know, I had, I, had, I had the stomach flu, and since I gotten better, I'm eating everything. <laughs> I'm okay. eating everything. Don't I'm making stop. up for the days I couldn't eat. Right. And then here we have a voicemail from BTG. Shout out. And I want to shout out real quick to our, our listeners and our, our faithful state. Because like we got like 10 people who do all the writing. If it wasn't for those 10 people, like Uncle Powers, BTG, 
Momo. I, I'm not going to name everybody because I, I'll forget some people. But, you know, uh, more, more recently, Tina and...